Hello, hello, hello. So in this video, I am going to walk you through how to create a simple rock beat consisting of an eighth note hi-hat pattern uh, with quarter note kicks and snares, plus a fill at the end, including some toms and some ghost notes on the snare. So on top of all of that, I'm gonna show you how to make it sound realistic. First, I wanna create a software instrument track, which I can do by going Option, Command, S. Bloom, that was crazy fast, right? I can also go Option, Command, N, and it pulls up the track menu where I can create any kind of track I want. Or I could just simply go to Track and then select New Software Instrument Track. Either way. Okay, so I, now I just want to insert a drum sampler plugin. So I'm just gonna go with Easy Drummer. That is my go-to. Okay, so the next step is to understand where the kicks, the snares, the hi-hats, the cymbals, the toms, all that, where they all live inside the piano roll, right? And it's gonna be different for every drum sampler, but just for the purposes of this video and using Easy Drummer, I'm gonna just lay it all out for you. So if I open up the piano roll here, right? So the kicks and snares, let's talk about that first. So the kicks are gonna live on C1. Okay, the snare is gonna live on D1, right there. Hi-hat's gonna be A sharp one. And we'll just leave it at that for now. We'll get into toms in a little bit. Okay, so now I just wanna write some MIDI note information. So what I'm gonna use is actually the QWERTY keyboard here. I don't have a MIDI controller or anything like that, so I'm just gonna go with that. Normally I just bring in a, a groove, but I wanna show you what it looks like to create something from complete scratch again. So here in window, and I'm going to go to show musical typing. So this is gonna allow me to record a performance. So let's see what we got here. So C1, so we got kicks. Okay, where's my snare? Nope. There we go. All right, so I'm just gonna record kicks on the one and the three. Okay, so here we go. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Sweet. <laughs> so epic. All right, so now I want snares on the two and the four. What was this one again? Yep, there it is. Okay, so here we go. Three, so one, two, three, four. Cool. Okay, so while I'm at it, I'm gonna throw in some hi hats. So here we go. Two, three, four. All right, cool. So that will work. As you can see, everything is poorly played as I am not a drummer. All well, those kicks aren't bad. All right, so now I wanna talk about the command click tool here in Logic. If you are not a Logic user, then please excuse, I'm gonna to touch on this briefly. But as you can see here in the window, I have my click tool, right? The left click tool, and then I have what's known as a command click tool. So this occurs when you hold the command key. So as you can see, what I have here selected is the pencil tool. It's the default setting here. If I hold the command key, it turns into a pencil, right? So this allows me to copy notes, and then I can draw them later, right? I can also take them away. This is kind of my go-to thing when it comes to editing. And anytime that you take something away like this, and then you just click, it snaps it to the grid, right? That's the default setting. So what I wanna do is uh, do just that with the snares and the kicks. So snap everything. And in fact, might as well do it with the hi-hats. Okay, let's hear it so far. Beautiful. Okay, so right off the bat, I want some more hi-hats, right? So, so far we've just got everything in quarter notes, right? As I mentioned before, right? One, two, three, four. But I want an eighth note hi-hat pattern. So couple things I can do, a couple ways to go about this. I could either click, let's see, was it A? Yep, it's A sharp. Clicking on this key highlights everything on this section, right? So now I'm just going to hold option, click, 
and drag to create a copy of everything. So we're getting there. Now I wanna play with velocity a little bit. So many different ways to do this. You could go into the, you know, MIDI transform area here and go to humanize. I really don't feel like doing that. So I'm gonna use the velocity tool. So if you didn't catch that, I opened up this menu with the T key and then go down to velocity tool or I just hit the V key. So I think right off the bat, hmm, I want these to come down. Right, and then I want these to stay pretty, pretty loud because this is the point where I have to start thinking like I'm a drummer. Even though I'm not a drummer at all, I have to start thinking that way. So, you know, things come into mind about like, you know, dominant hands, right? Left versus right. And thinking about strong beats versus weak beats. So if I am playing the hi-hat, right? And to me, I'm left-handed. So I would be using my left hand. So one and two and three and four and, right? The down beats, the one, the two, the three, and the four are gonna be stronger than the, the uh, ands, if you will, right? So the one and two and three and four and. So I wanna make sure that these are a little bit more softly played than the down beats. So this is where you kinda of have to use your ear. Let's hear this. Actually sounds pretty good. Let's hear it before. And then after. So the hi-hats sound a little bit more natural. Once you get into like, you know, around 60, almost to 70, this will be a nice, you know, kind of starting point as far as weaker beats go. Sometimes I drag it down to like around 40, even less depending. But as you can hear at this point, they're like non-existent. So I'm gonna bring it back up. Let's see if we have. Okay. So seeing as these are all gonna be the same, it's gonna treat each one a little differently. Maybe bring that up a little bit. And same thing with this. So bring this up a little bit. Bring this up. Sounds pretty good to me. Let's hear the whole thing. Okay, so there it is, it's basic rock beat in 4-4.